What is up guys, my name is Alex Rodriguez and in today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to one of the best travel vloggers or travel couple vloggers that I know and these are Kara and Nate. They visited Cuba in 2019, I think, and they did a great job here visiting different cities, documenting their local life here. And I thought it would be a great idea for you guys to see how Cuba has changed uh, from that period to compared to how is Cuba doing now, okay? I wanna see that. And actually, one thing that you're gonna be super impressed about is that I know the guy that he was uh, working as a tour guide for them in that moment. Actually, I was working in the same company and let's see. When are we gonna get a Cuban sandwich? Oh my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first of all, the tour guide that you already saw, the name is Cesar, and he used to be working with me in the same company, which is one of the best tour guides that you have, uh, that you could ever met. Is that guy. Here we go. Country 84, Havana, Cuba. It's our second day in Havana, and today we're doing one of my favorite things to do in a new place, which is learn more about the country through their food. We're going on a food tour. I'm super interested to see how today goes because we've heard very mixed things about the food here in Cuba. When we told people that we were going, some people said, all the food's super bland, it's not any good, and other people said, nice. That's completely true. Actually, when you visit Cuba, there's so many people who are gonna be telling you, hey, why are you gonna be visiting Cuba? The food is terrible, you're not gonna like it. But well, well let, let's see what they think about that once they try the, the, the Cuba food. Actually, the food tour that you're about to see is a food tour pretty basic that we created to go from places where you could try the Cuban local food, the things that most people would try on a daily basis. So it's not going to be fancy food or anything like that, but I think that if you visit Cuba and you do this stuff, you might enjoy it, okay? So let's keep watching. Chart recommendations then told us they had some of the best foods of their lives. So, <laughs> also today we are back with our favorite guide, Hello. Caesar. Yay. <laughs> Caesar, love you bro. Today we're gonna to be focusing a lot on the local Cuban street food, which is all priced in the local Cuban peso. And apparently we were pretty lucky because I was just able to exchange our tourist money for 400 local Cuban pesos, but that's not always the case. It depends. Oh my gosh, look at that exchange rate. $14, 2,380 pesos due to inflation. At that time, it was $15 was 400 pesos. Where you go, who you talk to, whether or not you're actually able to do the exchange because technically the Cuban pesos are only for the Cuban people. That's something that back then when the CUC used to be working as the USD in Cuba, that's something that most people used to be saying about the CUC. Oh my gosh, look at those prices. Pan con guayaba, pan con guayaba is a bread with uh, guava, I would say guava jam, something like that. This is insane. Love you, bro. Love you. When, when it comes to local life, this is the best tour guide that you could ever had. He's now living in the U.S., so forget about that. Caesar knows how to start a tour off right. We just got some coffee from this lady's house. She literally just opens her window in the mornings and sells coffee and snacks to people on their way to work. How cute is this little clay mug? And this coffee is only four cents. Ooh, I'm very sweet. <laughs> yeah. The coffee in Cuba is very strong, and this one has a lot of sugar in it. Personally, I don't put any sugar in the coffee, but some people do, and some people like this lady, they put a lot of sugar. That's something that you might find in Cuba a lot. It is delicious. I don't typically put sugar in my coffee because we drink oh, okay. so much of it, but whenever I do get it, I'm very happy. Is this the guava? Guava plus bread is okay. his name. <laughs> Pan con tiba. Okay. Pan con tiba is the local way. Picked up a couple local snacks. It's bread with guava, which is a fruit. Oh my gosh. Mm. It tastes just like bread and jelly. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy looking at us. Oh, not looking at us, but looking at them like. What the heck are you doing here? Look at Cesar. Cesar is just, just laughing like, oh, you don't know where you're trying here. <laughs> Turn side of a bodega, which from what we understand is a place where the locals can come to get basically subsidized food. Everybody gets a notebook and you can buy it. You can buy it from here with the, with the, using the notebook. You get some products per person. That's 
completely, completely insane, guys. The way the queue works, you're gonna be wondering why, 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 why. Uh, that's so funny, guys. When you go to touristic spot like Old Havana, Old Havana is one of the most touristic spots that you're gonna find. Most of the prices are not going to be able to be negotiated because they know that you're a tourist. They know I'm a local, so they're going to be selling you the stuff. Of course, forget about prices now. We're not going to be arguing about prices anymore because prices have changed a lot. But in this case, if you go to places like this, you're going to steal. Uh, you're going to have. You're going to have things. Not overpriced, but tourist price because of course they have to leave. They have to sell it. For example, this same uh, corn stuff that they're trying right now. For me as a local, they would. Oh, it would cost me like, probably okay. half a five. <laughs> so this place only sells chocolate milkshakes. Oh wow, it is rich. And these are for the free size, straight free size. I love Susser. Uh, guys, you cannot imagine how happy or how glad I am that Susser was uh, their tour guide in Havana. He's a great guy, so transparent, so Cuban, so local, so human being this is the cuban pizzeria this is for pizza and i can't wait to see what's happening yeah. we've seen several of these throughout the city but the story of why street pizza in cuba is so popular isn't the most beautiful story it's basically oh my gosh because look at that. it's cheap all you need is flour water tomato sauce which oh. there are a ton of tomatoes <laughs> here and some cheap cheese but that doesn't mean it's not good apparently you fold it and eat it like a taco back then the pizza was 20 pesos. Now, the it's pizza delicious. is hungry. for about 10 minutes to get this. It's super popular, and now I see why. Guys, I have a video talking about this and stuff. If you want to see it, go and check the video at the end because you're going to love it. It's all about the local street food here in Havana. They have done a great job. I love this video so far. Oh, something, something to mention here is that back then, it was pretty rare to see Cuban having data on the cell phone. So most people used to go there to buy, I mean, go there, I mean, going to the Texa, which is the main telecommunication company that we have here in Cuba, the only one. And uh, you could go there, you could uh, buy some Wi-Fi car, then you gotta go to the Wi-Fi parks and then you get the connection, internet. In 2019, we were pretty like, Cuba was pretty bad and, uh, with the internet back then. Oh my God, I had no clue guys that you knew about this, but in Cuba we call this duro frio, which is basically something that you put in the freezer. And he just pointed to this house, like no sign or anything. So he just walked up to the door, asked for a popsicle, and can you guess what they used to make it with? I forgot, but the point is they put some juice on the fruit and it gets this like frozen and then you got it. Yesterday where we ordered Roma Vieja, but today we ordered lobster. And it's covered in Cuban sauce, which is tomato puree, bell peppers, and lots of herbs. So this is actually a really interesting dish. It's completely opposite of a lot of the other dishes that we've had today. This is an old traditional food that's not really eaten as often anymore. And a lot of the other things we've eaten are not really traditional originally in Cuba. When are we gonna get a Cuban sandwich? Oh my god, no. <laughs> and to get one of the Wi Fi, yes, cards, you, have uh, you know, we're talking about this, option, so I'm gonna to jump in. Okay, they tried the, the, the Cuban transportation, the public transportation. That's insane. I never thought they did that. Next time, okay. Whoever you know what? I have never visited that place before. Probably I gotta go and check it out. Oh, that's these are coming. Oh gosh. So the there's a the local Capilla. and a tourist way to come to the most famous ice cream shop in all of Havana. Mm -hmm. There is a line that is like a mile long out on the street in the sunshine where you can pay to go into the local area. We said at the beginning of this video that we had heard a lot of mixed reviews about Cuban food, but I can definitely say everything we had today, uh, maybe with the exception of the pan con pasto, was absolutely <laughs> delicious. As an overall, I think they did a great job. I love this video and you must watch the entire series. They have a whole series talking about Cuba, documenting Cuba, not only Havana, but they went to Vinales actually. And it was great. I watched the entire series, I loved it. And hopefully you, can, you are able to watch this. If one of you guys are watching this, Carnage, love your job. Thank you so much for coming to Cuba. Thank you so much for documenting this. And thank you for choosing 
Caesar as a, the tour guide. He's a great guy. The cube is passing for a lot of things. So, gosh. Um, and actually, the tourism back then was high, super high compared to nowadays. But I love the video. And that was it for today's video, guys. If you're new here, my name is Alex Rodriguez. Subscribe if you would love to see more videos, travel videos. Not only this type of videos, but travel videos. I, I love documented places just like they did, you know. And um, love you guys. It was a pleasure having you here and see all your smiling faces. Ciao, Pecalo with the Picadillo. And um, new video coming up. Ciao.